Most people don't know this, but there's only really two things that we do when we're trading and or investing, right? We're either doing A, we're looking for something that is trending or continuing in one direction, could be continuing or trending up or down, continuing, continuation, or B, not. In other words, reversing, reversing, which kind of makes sense, right? Because we want to know, is something either continuing in the direction that it's going, or is it reversing? That's all we want. I'll give you an example. Let's just say you wanted to buy at $20, 20 pounds, 20 euros, whatever, right? And you wanna know whether any chart pattern or indicator or anything that you've studied da, 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 is going to either continue, in which case you probably don't wanna buy here, or start reversing, in which case you probably do wanna buy here. It's good to know, right? And if you're in a stock or crypto or anything, and it goes up, 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 and you see any kind of chart pattern or indicator saying that this thing is gonna reverse, you probably do wanna get out. But if it is going to continue or the trend carries on in the same direction, then you probably don't wanna get out. You probably wanna put a stop loss right underneath it, just to be sure, but if it continues, then you just wanna raise that stop loss. So there's really only two things, A and B. Okay, continuation, trending, or reversals. How did I come up with a buffalo? Well, the buffalo is just a reversal strategy. That's all it is. In other words, you have a stock that is literally just reversing, 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 right? Another way of looking at it is that the trend is sideways, but in the way that kind of it works with the city and Wall Street, they, they, they only see a trend as either going up or going down. They don't really, they don't see it, you know, as going sideways. But I discovered that 63% of the time, really, a stock just either, and you can call it oscillating, you can call it rolling, you can say being in a narrow range, so ranging, for example. I, I was looking for, you know, a bull goes up, um, a bear goes down, okay, so you can make money going up and going down. But what about if 63% of the time it goes sideways? What can you do then? I was looking for a way of making money going sideways, since 63 of the time it does that, you know, going sideways, or some people call it consolidation, consolidating before it goes up, before it goes down, right? But I had to think of something with the letter B. Think about it. Bull, bear, and side. It can't be a crab. Bull, bear, and crab. I mean, come on. I mean, first of all, it's not a B, and secondly, you know, it has to be has to be big, bull, you know, bear, arr, you know. So, um, because some people say, why don't you call it a, like a bee, you know, going bee, bzz, which kind of makes sense, up, down, up, down, but it's too small. Uh, bucking bronco would have been good. Bucking bronco would have been good. Anyway, I thought of the buffalo, which apparently is totally wrong because it's a bison, but uh, a buffalo is something else. But anyway, in the American prairies, they do sometimes call it the American buffalo. That's what I was really talking about. So bulls, bears, and buffalo was born. I think it was in 2005 that um, I submitted this idea in uh, the business newspaper. And uh, the rest is history. And it's a way of making money, really, in sideways markets, right? Because what you're doing, oh, by the way, look, buffalo makes sense, right? Imagine you're in a range, going up, down, up, down, up. The open ranges, America, yeehaw, open ranges, buffalo, no? Okay, well, anyway, I thought it was a good idea. So that's the idea, making money, when things are going sideways. That's basically what the Buffalo strategy is all about. It's about buying low and then selling high, but in a range, okay? And so we draw lines. We actually draw, most people draw a support line and a resistance line. We actually draw at least two support lines and two resistance lines. And there's a, one of them is to get in, the other one's to get out. So that's what's different about that. And you can also use a Buffalo when it's going up and down as well. So we actually make money in three market movements, which is pretty cool because most people out there don't even know, or they do, that there are three market movements, right? All they do is they basically say, oh, I'm gonna buy something and hope it goes up, which is one market movement. Because think about it, right? Even funds, if they just buy and it goes up, they make money, amazing. If it goes down, they lose money, one, one, right? But if it goes sideways, they don't make you any money either. So they only make you money in what, and then there's the cost, the fees, the, you know, the, the, the management fees, so it's terrible. So they can only make money in one out of three different scenarios, up, down, and sideways. They only make money when it goes up. It's not great, is it? That's even worse than 
So we make money when markets go up, we also make money when markets go down, we also make money when markets go sideways. And we only ever risk 1% of our entire portfolio in order to gain 3%. Not 3% a year, 3% a month. Now sometimes it massively outperforms that, and sometimes it doesn't quite do that 3%. But even this year, where it's not doing as well as 3% a year, we've still outperformed the market, because the market is massively down. We're not down. We're actually in profit. So that's a huge difference. We risk only 1% of our total portfolio. Let's say you have 10,000. 1% 1 of 10,000 is what? Well, 10% would be 1,000, so 1% is what? 100, that's all we're risking. But we're looking to make at least three times as much. So we're really looking to risk one in order to make three. How many of you would love to play this game all day long, right? Let's say you, you, you'd assume you win one, you lose one, you win one, you lose one, right? So imagine that you lost 100 to make 300. That would be pretty good, right? So you lose one, so now you're down, but then you make 300, so now you're up 200, and you keep doing that. Maybe the next one is you win, so you make 300, so you are up 200, now you're at 500, then you lose one. Now you're at 400. But then the next one is a winner, right? 400, 500, 600, 700. Now you're up 700. How many of you would love to play that game all day long? I lose small, I win big. And not only going up, but going down as well because we short as well. So we buy here, we sell here, but then we sell short and we buy back. Now I'm going, for, for, especially if you're new to this, you're like, what, etc. But just know this, we make money in three market directions, up, down, sideways. We buy, we sell, we sell short, we buy back. It's a great strategy, it takes just 20 minutes a day. And we have been doing this since, well, I, I published it in 2005, but actually I've been doing it for almost 20 years now. More, 22 years, yeah. So there you go, that's the Buffalo strategy.